good, glorious morning. We're waking up right on the ocean here with the dunes in the background, sun's starting to come up, and I'm up first going out hunting. So what me and Rob are gonna do is we're gonna kind of flip-flop filming each other's hunts. So definitely go subscribe over there to uh, Lunkers TV as well, and you can keep up with, with both of our hunts. So that's how we've decided to do it. It's gonna be the best way um, to just document both of these things. And we are, yes, it is time for some tick spray. Rob was graciously, or smart enough to bring this stuff right here. Look at, we look like uh, Kuyu twins right now. You just can, you, can you see us, see us out here? <laughs> This is view. That lighthouse is awesome. This is absolutely, and it's not very windy. It's currently like 41 degrees. I never would have thought it would be 41 degrees in Africa, but we're on the very southern tip of the continent of Africa. Like as far south basically as you can go, right here on the ocean. And uh, I, just, I have to get my phone. It's kind of like New Zealand where the farther south you go, the farther to the South Pole you are. So it does get cold. And this is their winter. It's currently like 100 degrees in Texas. So I can't wait. I can't. I'm so excited. We saw so many animals yesterday. It's time to get the bow out and get after some animals. I don't know what exactly uh, is going to come out, but the big thing on my list is a water buck. Get a nice water buck. A lot of ungulate animals roaming around these beautiful plains right next to the sand dunes and the ocean. It's, it's, it's amazing. Definitely Instagram worthy. How does this compare to your other African exp hunts not even, experiences? Not even comparable. Not even remotely even close. This is the most beautiful part of Africa I've ever seen. Hills, grass, the like actual grass. I've actually fished this ocean once already. For, uh, for that GTs? Way? Yeah, up that way. Yeah. There's literally great white sharks. Just there's that's that's a crazy boat right there. out there. He said there's a ton of bait out there, which I would assume there is. I mean, look at those. This is amazing, man. Let's go get something on the ground. Hopefully, we can both get something on the ground today. Start it out. Cameraman Rob, it's coming in. Cameraman hot. Rob, Channel Six News, coming <laughs> in. It's time. It's time. First morning, and we're ready. It's a little chilly, I'm gonna put some gloves on. But I think we're gonna be mostly doing some spot stalking. It's been very windy here. Makes it very, very tough for uh, shooting a bow. Me and Rob are bow hunting on this trip. I never would've thought that South Africa was like this. Definitely one of the most beautiful places I've ever been in my life. Hopefully we get something on the ground very soon. You ready to be sneaky? Yeah. I'm ready. Look, I feel like Channel 6 News. We got the big camera out for this trip. Rob brought uh, the Channel 6 camera so we can get some good zoom in shots for you guys. So let's go pull back on something. There's just animals everywhere. Just giraffes walking over the trees. We've already seen two water bucks. It's, it's literally like every valley you come across, there's animals. It's so different than Texas. Like they don't really get up until the sun comes up here because they're bedded all night, they're hiding from predators, and they like to be warm. So it's totally different than whitetail hunting. Just through that pathway there. It's fresh. It'd be bad if I forgot my uh, release, wouldn't it? It happens often. <laughs>
This is absurd. I, I don't know what to say. Sure. Is that just poor? I don't know what happened to it. It's very small. Not even today. That's nature. That's nature. Nature is metal. Happens, eh? Nature's tough. Yeah. And rough. Nature's more than tough. Uh, That's sad. Well. Well, let's keep going, I guess. Let's keep looking. So we spotted another water bug bull way across the valley, and we're gonna try to make a stock on it. It's it's uphill. So. As we go up, the wind's good though. There's more animals all in this valley, so if this doesn't work out, we've got other options, but this looks really good. I'm gonna go give it a whirl. zigzag but it's what we got to do
Okay, y'all, we're done for today. So I think that was like our fifth or sixth stock on the morning and it has been incredible. I cannot believe how many animals we have seen. We literally walked up on these giant giraffes. We saw that baby giraffe, that was really, that was really sad, but it's just incredibly wild out here and we have so many opportunities. It's just very, very challenging what we are doing, what me and Rob are doing with the bow. Uh, Ryan's also with us. He has got a nice Impala this morning going after some red heart of beasts and other things. But the main two characters I'm trying to get with my bow are a water buck and a Nyala. Uh, and we actually have, have heard about a reed buck that is hanging around close by that he might be a, an easy stock. I mean, nothing has been <laughs> easy yet. It's all been incredibly hard. Uh, they have such good noses and they've already seen you most of the time. Driving the trucks around and things like that, they'll spot you thousands of yards away. And then when you're walking up, you gotta hug the brush line. Uh, it's just an incredibly tough way to hunt with a bow in this open area. It's not like what you typically see hunting Africa where you're sitting over a water hole and you're in a blind with a bow. This is literally spot and stock like elk hunting. I, that's, I've never been elk hunting, but just being here with Rob, that's how he's described it as going after these water bucks are about the same size. You're, you're going up and down hills and having to hug brush lines and really watching the wind constantly. It's very difficult, y'all. But I love a good challenge. And Patrick, he's a really good guide. Uh, he's kind of guiding us through all the scenarios that we might go through with a bow to try to get an animal. So I think we're going to try this afternoon a little bit, but how we're, how me and Rob are doing these videos is we're basically flip flopping on, on the camera. So I'm, I'm filming half a day with him. He's filming half a day with me and we're going back and forth. So uh, if you want to follow that action, like right now, we're actually going to go look for a sable for Rob and that's going to be a whole nother video. So you can go subscribe down below to his channel and I'll be filming that. So we're going to swap back and forth on that. But, uh, it's an awesome adventure so far, y'all. I cannot believe the amazing place. Like, again, just the ocean right behind us. There's literally great white sharks. Like, the stuff you see on Nat Geo, Shark Week, sharks jumping out of the water. That's right down here where we're at. And we're hunting right in front of it. So, absolutely incredible. You guys, stay tuned. Hit the like button for awesome safari magic. And I'll see you right here on the next one. Thank <laughs> you.